So hi everybody and welcome back. Today we do a quick unboxing review of the ArcBird UHF system. That's a high quality long range ultra high frequency UHF system which enables you to, to reliably control your flying machine, whatever it is, over a longer distance than traditional transmitters will allow you. Today we will only do a quick unboxing review, but this will also be a first step in a series of, of videos ranging from this quick unboxing to full flight tests. So let's take a look what we have in here. So first what we see here is the, the, the whip antenna <coughs> for the transmitter. Okay, let's put that out here. And then we have the transmitter itself, of course, and the receiver, including the receiver antenna, as you can see here, just put it there. Then we have some shielding tape here, which enables you to shield the transmitter from your regular uh, radio control when you uh, uh, put it on there. And then we have of course a bunch of cables here. So how does this work? Of course you have your uh, a regular 433 UHF transmitter <coughs> which is adjustable from 100 milliwatts to 1400 milliwatts you will have to check in your country uh, how you can fly this legally. And uh, the strength of the signal, as I said, 100 milliwatts to uh, 1400 milliwatts is adjusted with that little knob here. So you just uh, use a screwdriver to adjust this. And of course, before uh, uh, connecting it, you will have to put on the antenna like that. And how does this work? So how is this uh, connected to your regular transmitter? You have two possibilities here. Either you have uh, a regular BPM connection. So most transmitters uh, allow you uh, to directly get the uh, uh, BPM signal from your radio, from your regular radio, and just feed it into this UHF transmitter which will then transmit it to your UHF receiver on your flying machine with the uh, power output as you have adjusted here. So this is if your transmitter supports uh, a BPM output, it's the so-called tuner mode, but there is a something special here about the ArcBird because they say they will guarantee that this works with any radio. So how do they do that? This is uh, quite simple. As you can see, you not only have the BPM input here, but you also have regular servo cable inputs here. So what you can do actually is to simply use one of your regular receivers. We'll just show it to you. So for example, one of those, that's the FreeSky D4R2. You will use this regular receiver as, space, as, as a part of your ground station so very close to your radio actually and then you will just use servo cables to connect this receiver to your UHF transmitter and this will do the rest. As before, either uh, just connect directly through BPM or use the so-called repeater mode where you simply uh, use a regular receiver for your radio, it can be any receiver connected through servo cables here and it will also work. Actually, the repeater mode uh, is, uh, has the advantage that this unit can be separated from your regular radio. So there will be less interference for this unit and you will get an even longer range. This is quite nice. So what else do we have here? Yeah, of course, the receiver itself. As you can see, the receiver itself is considerably small. So it's 
Well, it's a bit uh, larger, of course, than this FreeSky D4R receiver, but not that much. It comes with this VIP antenna, <laughs> which looks interesting. Uh, it looks much heavier than it actually is, I can promise you that. <laughs> Let's take a look at this. At, at uh, the weight of this. So let's see, I can put it on here. Uh, will you stay? Yeah. So we arrive at about 22 grams. For this uh, receiver, UHF receiver, including the antenna, of course, if you are uh, really uh, 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 want to reduce the weight as much as you want, you can always remove this antenna here. Then remove this mount here, which I actually like. It's actually very nice. And then, of course, directly put the antenna here. You can do that. If you really want to save uh, whatever weight you can. So, that concludes our quick unboxing review. I really like this unit. As I said, that was only a quick unboxing. Uh, what follows next is that I will actually uh, try to integrate this in a Pixlr and then we will have some real life tests about how this works. It's my first time working with UHF. I am really looking forward to it. I hope you are really looking forward to it as well. If you do, leave a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel and I am really looking forward to see you soon.